Welcome to another installment of the Whitaker Myers Wealth Managers What We Learned in the Markets This Week video. Now you'll notice our backdrop is a little bit different as I'm in Hilton Head, South Carolina this week, visiting some clients and spending some time with my wonderful family for a little vacation. Now I'm only gonna go through two things this week about what happened in the markets. The first, one thing I always remember about Hilton Head in regards to economics is, I was down here in March of 2020 with some clients. That was the worst of the pandemic. We had a unemployment rate that month that reached the largest since the Great Depression. I remember the day that was announced, and the day that was announced, the stock market was up a thousand points. Stuart Varney on Fox Business was perplexed. Now think about that. We released unemployment numbers that were greater than any point in history since the Great Depression, yet the stock market went up a thousand points. And that's because the stock market bottoms before the worst news comes out. That's an important thing to remember when you're investing money is the worst of the news does not coincide with the bottom of the stock market. It's why you can't time it. It's why you invest for your time horizon, not based on headlines. The second thing we learned in the markets this week, the Federal Reserve and Jerome Powell had their meeting for the month of July. They raised interest rates three quarters of 1% as we knew they would or thought they would. And the market again didn't have a bad reaction to that because now the market has what it needs from the Federal Reserve, which is certainty around its interest rate policy. Currently right now, there's an expe expectation that the March, May 2023 meeting, we will actually lower interest rates a quarter of a percent right now. So the market is raising this week on that news, which was very helpful. Now I'm gonna leave you with a beautiful picture of the Atlantic Ocean. We hope you have a great week this week we wrote an article about what happy retirees know. The link to that article will be in the notes of this video. So watch that, or read that article to hear only five of the many habits that are consistent among happy retirees. It's a six minute read. And throughout that article, if you're over the age of 50, so you're close to retirement, you'll learn about a chance to get a free book about what the happiest retirees know.